Good morning and welcome to Coffee Walk. My name is Dennis Collins and we're going to be showing you what's going on in the world of Collins Brothers Jeep in Black Mountain. Let's start off with my Blue Island coffee. Hey you guys, did we change one of these to the breakfast roast? Sunrise is in the Shark Tank. Outstanding. Now we haven't changed the decal yet, but we, there is a coffee blend called Sunrise and this actually is my new favorite. Love it. See this stir stick? We call these Richard here. Okay. So we've got a customer's TJ Wrangler in that we're doing a foreign suspension lift. This is the Jamboree Jeep. It, we finally got it in. Well, I say finally got it in. We did the complete mechanical on this Jeep first. So we've already done the whole drivetrain, serviced everything. Now we're going to take it apart for the cosmetic part of the restoration. Our black left-hand drive 2018 truck has been sold. So we do have the capability of building two more of these. So if you want one, we can build you a 2018 JK Wrangler double cab truck it takes us about a month but we only have the capability of doing two more so you better hurry this is a local rust-free tj wrangler that was not wrecked ran and drove four liter five speed with a rust-free body we're parting it out why are we doing that well to keep the tjs on the road now which you know they're built from 97 to 06 there's some parts you just can't get and a lot of parts that we need. So if you need anything for your TJ Wrangler, this is busted all the way down to the frame. The frame's already sold. Some of the interior pieces are sold, but most of it we have. And this beauty sitting here, if you guys haven't seen it, is my daughter Kelsey's car. This is what she actually drives. She absolutely loves it. Got this from a great friend of mine, Jay Ricky out of Louisiana. It's a one owner car. They've been in the park since 1987. It's now back alive. So if you see, Kelsey running around in Dallas, Fort Worth, please wave at her. You know it's her for sure. That's Kelsey Collins 79 TAM tag. Pretty cool. So lots of Black Mountain hood boxes, grill boxes. Looks like we got a couple of pieces, remaining pieces to pay for the Grand Wagoneer. But I'll show you that. Everything's painted except for the hood and the tailgate so far. Let's see, we got in a booth. So we've got our Blackout heat reduction hoods. When these go on a stage one, two, or three, we always paint them here. This is a this is painted, this is not a decal. So with two colors, we clear it over, they look killer. And these are heat reduction grills. Let's go see what these are going on. Another truckload of Jeeps in from Chop Tobin at Prestige out of Las Vegas. So we're gonna ship out on Monday three stage one 2018 JKs. We have two in granite. It wants to be in black. So what the stage one gets is it gets a leveling kit in the front, steel rock wheels, 33 inch tires, light guards, rock bumper, heat reduction hood. We'll get a heat reduction grill like I just showed you in the booth. Side bars, light guards, heavy duty tire carrier, heavy duty rear bump, rock bumper. So. Prestige carries a full line of Black Mountain Stage 1, 2, and 3 JKs and JLs. So check them out, PrestigeJD.com. And their best salesman they have out there, I don't know, maybe not best, they, they may argue that, but we think the best sales guy to see out there, super knowledgeable and usually sells the most Jeeps. Ask for Willie and tell him Dennis sent you. If you walk in to see Chop, give him a high five for me. Now we've got the Grand Wagoneer. It's out of the booth. Let's go back together. So what takes a lot of time on these things is every single one of these trim pieces has got to be polished, cleaned, and all the dings taken out of it. So literally it takes two days just to put the glass back in this Jeep and all the trim on. And then the next thing, all the windows will go back in, all new door rubbers, window seals, you know, on and on and on. So you'll watch this as it progresses. Again, you know, we finish two of these a month. I want to show you a neat find. As you guys know, they've been watching, we've been looking for 68 chargers really hard. Y'all saw the 440 375 horse RT four-speed car we found. Now this is the car we really wanted, and this is the car we're gonna build. So, got this from the Johnston family. Out of the Northeast, you know who you are. Thank you very much. This deal took about three months. It was a uh, heartfelt sale for Miss Johnston because she'd had this car for 28 years. 
look how straight it is. Killer car. So watch what we do with this. Here's a couple other finds we had this week. We got a 66 912 Porsche, which I love 911s, 912 and 356s. Came out of Oklahoma, really solid, straight on his car. What's cool about this car, it's been sitting since 2002. It's a numbers matching car. It's got the original motor in it, the original gearbox. What we do when they come in is we make sure the motors roll over, which this one did. So we take an external fuel source so we don't suck up any nasty fuel in a battery. This car started right up. So sitting for 16 years, it just started. Now I've got something really cool, a big Healy. So this is a BJ7 Austin Healy in the lineages of the Healy's. This is the second to the last series because the BJ8 was the last series. What I really like about this car is you've got all the late model amenities, including roll-up windows and a much better fitting top, which unfortunately you can't see, but you've got the old roaster style dash. So this is a 63 or 64 BJ7. I haven't looked at the title yet. But what's neat about this car, same owner since 1974. He took it apart in 1978. So it has really good floors in it. We've got all the parts and pieces to it. We will likely just put this car back together and sell it as a, what I would consider, easy restoration project. But we're always looking for 100, 400, 6, and 3,000 Heelys. Now, we're going to take a long walk out front. We had two Black Mountain Jeeps traded in this week for new Black Mountain Jeeps. Really cool, a 2012 and a 2015. And the reason I want to show them to you is they're special colors. So let's go check them out. So how hard is it to walk backwards and drink coffee at the same time? It's a good thing I have a black shirt on. See there, there's two more uh, stage ones going to Prestige. Again, Jeep dealership, PrestigeJD.com, owned by Chop Tobin. There's Colin and Chris. Good morning. Good morning, guys. They're always the first one here, besides Tyler Pfaffenbach which if you can spell that name first, the first guy that gets it right gets a hat. Because he's a creative designer. He wears a lot of different hats. I mean, his, his list of what he does here is getting longer, including filming me right now. Morning, Tyler. So when Jeep comes out with a special color, this is something they have done since 1976. They generally don't carry that color more than 12 months. And then it's not repeated again, which is awesome because some of these colors are really rare. And you end up not seeing that many of them on the road. They've continued this through the JK line. So, and they're also very low percentage colors, as in high percentage colors are always your primary colors, black, red, silver, white, which they make every year. They also come up with some special colors, usually once a quarter. And it's almost never more than about 7% of production. And some of these colors are less than 3% of production. These are two of my favorite colors they did in JK. This color was done in 2012. This is Gecko, Gecko Green Pearl Coat. Killer color. Very rare. Again, they only made these Jeeps for about three or four months. And this, another one of my favorite colors, this Jeep, the color was done in 2015. It's called Tank Green, like an army tank. And when we built these in 2015, I ordered as many as I could. We sold them all. And we, uh, underneath the Black Mountain, you see this tank that Tyler designed? Very cool. So if you want a unique JK, two-door, which is actually even rare. We've got these Black Mountain Edition Jeeps. That, that one was built in 2012. This was built in 2015. They were just traded in. Go to cbjeep.com. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and follow us.